Hi guys, it's Nova here. Today I've got a little mini tutorial for you and we're gonna talk about my ombre eyebrows. I know that they never look the same from one video to the next, but my process is still the same, believe it or not. I just can't ever really remember where things go. But this is the brow I'm gonna show you how to do today. Okay, so I have done my basic highlighting and contouring, but I do normally go over that towards the end of my makeup routine. But the first step to doing my eyebrows is I take a quite a dark brown lip pencil. I use a lip pencil because it's a little bit softer and creamier than an eye pencil. And I will just do the basic outline of my brows. So the inside, I like to start kind of halfway down my natural brow. I arch up to the top of my natural arch and sometimes I'll take it down following my natural brow or recently I've been more into just taking it straight up so it's more of like a, a straight line. My eyebrows never look the same, that's not intentional, I just can't ever seem to remember the shapes that they are and um, so they're always slightly different but we'll see what happens today. So if I start here, also being right handed the right brow is always so much easier than the left brow but they always say they don't have to be twins, just sisters. So you see halfway down my natural brow, up to the top of my natural arch. And then I'm kind of taking it straight up, but there is a little bit of an arch there. So I've just gone over with the top line. And the trend at the moment for eyebrow shapes is for thickness towards the middle and then to taper to a point at the outside, which is kind of what I've done here. So now all I've got to do is repeat that on the left side and see if they're more or less the same. Take a step back and just see the symmetry in them because when you're so on top of them, it's sometimes hard to get a, a good gauge of how things are falling. there's my basic outline. Do not worry so much about the bottom half being messy because I'm going to tidy that up later. The top half, however, you don't want to be too crazy because although I am going to go over it with the dark cream next, um, you don't want it to mess up your foundation and contour on the top. So this is the product that I'm going to use to actually fill in my brows. It is a cream blend stick by Merom and I've got no idea what colour this is. A dark one. It's got a bit of a warmth to it. It's like a chocolatey colour and I like this because it's not too dark, it's not too light, um, it's quite a neutral brow colour for me. So I'm going to use an angled brush, quite a small one. This is the A17 by Spectrum and I'm going to take some product onto the brush and I'm now going to go over those lines and really crisp them up. I don't want to go too heavy on the inside because that is where the ombre light to dark gradient is going to start. So really focus on the outside and gently come into the inside. If you use the straight edge of the brush you get a nice crisp line and then you can swipe down to fill in that area. Make use of the shape of the brush. There we go, so again I'm not too worried about the bottom, that can go over the line that we want because we're going to tidy that up, it's really just the top edge that I want to be really crisp and perfect. And now I'm going to repeat on the left brow. As I come to the inside here, I'm just taking very little light rough strokes, so I'm kind of starting to create that ombre effect already. Um, but that is the basic start of my brows, I'm quite happy with that, I think they look more or less the same. So I'm going to put this down, and now I'm getting a um, concealer stick. This is just um, a cover up stick by Collection, doesn't matter what it is. but. Um, something fairly close to your um, a neutral tone for you. Not as light as your highlight, maybe similar to your foundation colour. So make sure it is nice and clean on here and I'm going to take one stroke just going over the top of where 
the dark meets the empty space there. So now you're gonna have smush on here and you wanna wipe that clean. I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other brow. Just like that. So this is gonna be the um, kind of blending color but it's gonna blend the highlight into the brown. So now that I've done that, I normally use my middle finger and I'm going to kind of just blend it lightly with my finger. So I'm using the edge of my finger to do this and I'm going across and first of all I'll start just lightly dabbing the two colors together and then using a clean finger I can either bring some of the dark cream over the top if I think it's going too light or I can bring some of the light over the dark if I think if it's going too dark. Um, because these are cream based products you can kind of like drag them over each other until that gradient looks even and how you want it. So let's try this now. So I'm just lightly dabbing and you can see already how that starts to blend quite nicely. Again, just be careful not to smudge on top too much because that's the line that we want nice and crisp. So again on this side. So that's already started to blend. Now I am taking my highlight, which is the exact same product as the um, brown cream. It's a Meron cream blend stick. This is what I use for my highlight. This is Eurasia Ivory. So I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of this with my finger and I'm doing a little blob on this side and again on this side. Now if this dissipates as I blend I might add a little bit more and I'm going to use exactly the same technique now with my finger and just try and blend it in. Just be aware which fingers have product on, you don't want to go into your highlights with a finger that's got the brown on it. That's what she said. So I think this one's gone a little bit too far up with the light. So with a fairly clean finger, I'm gonna kind of drag that brown down back into the gradient and then blend it out again. Just keep going backwards and forwards until they look more or less symmetrical. And when you're happy with the gradient, what I like to do as well, just to set this, is I'm taking a little bit of translucent powder and I'm very, very lightly gonna go over the lighter parts. And then taking a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna brush that away. I'm brushing into the dark, kind of like up and over. So that's the tricky part done. Um, now to complete your brows, we're going to shape the bottom with your highlights of choice or your eyeshadow primer. I actually use, I think I've mentioned this on the channel before, um, literal white face paint. So this is um, Clown White by Snazaroo. It's their oil-based face paint. So it comes in a tub and it's creamy. And I find their water-based, like the, the pan, it doesn't work very well with the glue and my eyebrows will disintegrate. I think if I use oil base, it seems to stay on very well. So I'm going to use a very small concealer brush for this. Um, it's a crappy brush that I've had for years. And I'm going in getting quite a fair bit of product on the brush. And then this is the fiddly bit now. I'm going to be covering the majority of my old brow and crisping up that line. And you can see the white is what gives shape to the gradient here because obviously without the white it's blending into your skin tone with the white you're giving it that edge and that shape if you're not happy with the um shape that you created with that like this arch here i think it's gone a bit wank you can go back over with your angled brush and the dark cream and just tidy that up I very rarely get a shape that I like first time, it's a lot of back and forth going from the light to the dark, but when you get there, keep it, don't move it until you set it. So now to repeat for the other brow. So I think this one is arching up a bit higher than this one, so I'm just going to change that with the white. I'm going to create the same angle going up higher here. And then I'm going to add in, fill in the, the brown on the top with this. 
So those are my finished brows. Um, what I like to do just before I start my eyeshadow is because this is so creamy and wet, the um, white face paint, I will just take a finger again and blend in the edges of the white so they're a bit softer underneath the eyeshadow, otherwise it can look a bit graphic, which isn't always a bad thing, but um, it's not the look I'm going for today. So I'm just gonna soften those edges a little bit in here as well. And on the edge here. Once I have finished the rest of my face, the last thing I will do is go over the tails with some black liquid liner. I don't always do that because you don't always see it, but I'll do it for you guys so you can see how that just creates a little bit of extra depth in the ombre effect. So I've just completed the rest of my face and now I'm gonna go in with the liquid liner I mentioned earlier. Like I said, I don't always do this because quite often the lace on my wigs will cover up the ends of my brows, but I thought I'd do it today just to show you the kind of effect it gives. So I'm just using a normal liquid liner, this is Revlon Color Stay, and I'm going to start just on the corner here. I don't know how much of this you guys are going to be able to see. I kind of do a V shape and then flick it out, and then as the brush kind of dries, you can blend it in a bit more. Like so. And there we have it. Two ombre brows. Ignore the rest of the face, it's like a million degrees in here and I am burning up. Everything's melting off, but here are my ombre brows. And I hope this little mini tutorial was of some use to you guys. All right, I will speak to you soon. Bye. A quick shout out to our new patrons, Corey Kowellerman, Ben Moore, Tina Berry, Jennifer Spain Green, Michael Emmett, Tim Bowden, and Karen Adams.